came as quick as I could. Is Ma really? Yeah, someone got to him. The hospital hasn't released an official statement yet, but I saw it for myself. Ma is dead. How was he killed? Smothered to death with a pillow. Simple but effective. And quiet. Medical examiner says it happened within the last hour. The prime suspect has got to be whoever attacked him in the first place, but I thought that was Ray. Me too, but he's still locked in a cell. Either he's learned how to teleport or we've got a problem. Find any, any evidence in the room? Nothing. The place was totally clean. This was a professional job. Our biggest witness is dead and we've got nothing? Not quite. I pulled the CCTV. How do you get the CCTV so fast? It's a brand new system, all digital. Only got installed a week ago. There's a good chance to kill it, no idea. A digital recording? I could scan through it. That's what I was counting on. Here, it's on this disc. Alright. I'm still expecting the guy, uh, the guy of Leaf Security to be at least in a bigger role behind this whole thing that's going on. I don't know if he's the one who murdered uh, Mal, but I wouldn't be surprised if he was. It's 12, so that's fine that way. Uh, maybe those? How much is that? That's 10, 11, 12, 13. And I want to. So I have two more and then the three. Is that realistic? One, two, blank. One, two, three, four. No. Here, that's where it's supposed to go. Okay. Since that's guaranteed to be the two, this has to be a one. So that means the five goes here. Three, 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 one. That's 10, 11, 12, 13. So we've got three here. And we've got blank, one, two, three here. Uh... Okay, one, two, three, blank, one, two, three, blank, one, two, three, here. One, blank, one, two, three, one, blank, one, two, three, yeah, okay. Uh, all right. That's three. Mm, that's five. And that's three. This has to be a one. Uh, what about these? These are fours. That's a two, so the three goes here. Which means the eleven connects to there. Nine goes here. Those are twos. Uh, those are all twos. That's a three. Those are fours. This can't be it. Mm, those are all threes, okay. That's the four. Uh, that's a one, that's a two, that's a three. So, yeah, there's a seven down there and we've got ten, so we can put that here. Those are all ones. Okay, we've got a five in between here. We've got eight spots, so we can put those two in. Uh, that's a six, the six, well, six has to cover this. Mm. Well, two has to be up here. One has to go down there. That now means this is, I can get rid of that one. Uh, two has to be here. This two has to be here and the five has to be there. This is the three. Okay. Oh, we know 
know this can't be connected, so the two has to be up here, the three has to be down here. This has to be connected, however, so we can cross these off. This has to be a two. Uh, that's a five. And the one's already there. So this has to be connected as well. This can't be it. This is something I can't say yet. Uh, it's a three, then there's a one, there's a two. One up here, one down there. There's nothing we can do with that. There's a five. One blank, one blank. And that's where a five can start. So it has to extend at least down to here and it can't go below here. Uh, so the five is done. This five goes up here. That's a six. So that extends to here at least. The so one starts here, that'd be one blank, one, two blank, yeah, it'll obviously work. Hmm. This is the last spot where it could be a blank, so the five would have to extend up here, because if we go one, two, blank, one, two, three, four, five, that doesn't work, so it has to connect here. This has to be the five. Uh, this has to be the two. This. Now with that here, that means that this has to be the two. This is a one and this is a two. It means the three goes here. This is blank. Uh, this can't go to here. Since this is the 8, this needs to connect, this needs to connect, so the 7 is done. Uh, that is empty then. The 5 goes here. There's 2 and 2. We've got 7 spots here remaining, so that doesn't tell us anything. Unfortunately, we've got a 4 down here though. That means this is a 1, this is a 3, there we go. That has to be in there as well. This has to be the 1. Can put something in there, that's 4, that's not enough yet. That's now enough because that's 6 and we've got 2 on either side, that's fine. That's a 1, that's a 1, that's a 2. That's a 3, that's a 1. Uh, that's a two, that's fine, so that's empty. Mm. All right. The three goes here, that, that wouldn't work. This needs to go there. It means these are empty. That's a two. This is a two. So that's the three done, that's the two done. This down here is gone. Therefore the one goes in here, therefore this needs to connect. This is finished, this is empty. There's a one, there's the two. Uh, this three goes in here, this is empty. These ones go in here. This is empty, one goes in there, uh, one goes here, this is empty, two goes there, that's empty, there goes another two, and this is the last two. That's a CCTV camera. Digital, digital footage downloaded, scanning frames. Focus on the footage from about an hour ago. Look for anything unusual. Suspicious figures. Str I have something. It's Clyde. Well, what a surprise. <laughs> Mr. Muscleman is a suspicious figure. Don't act as surprised. Muscleman, that meathead. Are you sure? 
The footage is conclusive. White male, prominent facial scar, wearing a white uniform with cap left-handed. Left-handed? But that means... <laughs> oh, what a surprise. There are more left-handed people in the world than just Ray. A pistol was his all along. He shot Laurie. All this time, I thought he was just some Jata captain. For good reason. Ray told us he hired Clyde from an agency. Well... Leaf security, perhaps? <laughs> but either he was lying or he had really no idea. I think it's time we found out which. Ray! Afternoon, Ray. How's your cell? Are you here for a reason or just to make wise cracks? What can you tell me about Clyde Musselman? The charter captain? I'd almost forgotten about him. I don't know any more than what I already said. Mal called in sick and the agent sent Clyde as a replacement. Except Mal was locked in the cargo hold. How could he have called in sick? Well, I didn't receive the call myself, but that's what Clyde told me when he arrived. What difference does it make? Well, oh, didn't you realize Clyde was lying to you? Shouldn't you be asking Mal about this? Surely he's awake by now. He's not going to wake up, Ray. He's dead. Mal Cruz is dead. He was murdered in his hospital bed. I'm sorry to hear that. I've known Mal for a long time. With your help, we can bring his killer to justice. Look around. Is this your idea of justice? Can you give us the details of the hire company you use? You hijack my yacht, arrest my sister, accuse me of murder, and then you ask me for help? You're out of your mind. Why should I trust you? You're still on the hook for Laurie's murder. If you want to get out of here, you should be working with us, not against us. It'll take more than a few sweet words to get me to trust you and that bullhound of a detective. What if I said we've got a lead that could help prove your innocence? We just need your help to confirm it. I'll believe it when I see it. There. We have CCTV footage of Clyde leaving the hospital where Mal was killed. Caught him red-handed, huh? Left-handed, actually. If he murdered Mal, there's a good chance he killed Laurie, too. I told you I didn't kill anyone. You've been so focused on your vendetta against us that you ran headfirst toward prosecution with no thought for due process. I don't have a vendetta against you or your sister, Ray. Eh? All I care about is finding the truth. If we can tie Laurie's murder to Clyde, you'll be free to go. How am I supposed to help even if I wanted to? Maybe you've forgotten, but Detective Cross has me locked in a cell. Right now we've got no way to track Clyde down. We need to know who he really is. Can you think of anything that might help? He was waiting on the boat when we arrived this morning. Of course I noticed that tattoo right away. That's right, he told us he was in the military, served in Vietnam. Scout, do you think you could look up his service record? It's possible, but I would need more search parameters. Come on, Ray, you're a lawyer. You're supposed to be good at finding little inconsistencies. Now you mention it, there was something a little strange. When he introduced himself, he said his name was Hyde. He corrected himself right away, so at the time I thought nothing of it, but... Now I get the feeling he made up a new name on the spot. You think Clyde is really called Hyde? Not exactly an inventive false name, but it's worth a shot. This may be enough information. I can access military records through the police computer. Give me a moment to establish a data link. The military? But they must have the tightest security in the country. They've never gone up against me before. All right, jeez. Uh, there. I wasn't physically or uh, mentally ready for this. Uh, shit. Uh, probably here. Probably here. Uh, probably here and here. There we go. Three, one, uh, five. Oops. No, fuck. I was, uh, intended to correct it, but it was already too late. Uh, three, 
there. Uh, two, two, four, three, uh, two, one. Oh god, our time is close. This is not gonna be... Fuck. Well, this is gonna be a fail then. Yep, totally not close. Still had a whole full second left to go. I'm almost disappointed by military security. I found an administrator account with the password password123. <laughs> right, what kind of idiot would have that as their password? Honor, come on. You can do better than that. Searching for visual matches with the tattoo on Clyde's... Sorry, I mean Hyde's arm. It seems to be the insignia of the 5th Marine Regiment. Narrowing search by name, known physical characteristics and service record. One record found. Corporal Hyde Musselman. He didn't even change his last name. <laughs> if anything, you'd change your last name, wouldn't you? First name doesn't fucking matter anyway. What a professional that was. So that really was his real name. Hyde fought at several key battles in Vietnam and remained a member of the 5th Marines until he was dishonorably discharged in 1977. They kicked him out? What for? Misconduct under Article 90 of the UCMJ, assaulting or willfully disobeying a superior officer. But there's something else here you might find more interesting. Hyde was suspected of killing a staff sergeant in a friendly fire incident in 1968. There was, solid, there was a solid case against him, but a key piece of evidence was lost. A bullet casing. You mean all this time we've been holding on to evidence from a 30-year-old murder? Sometimes the solution to a puzzle relies on one missing piece of information. Without it, progress is impossible. Are there any records about what you did after you left the Marines? We still need a way to track him down. The police kept a close watch on him for several years after he was discharged. He drifted between jobs and the records gradually become less detailed. The last entry is from 1991. It simply says, now employed by SSI. Did you just say Hyde worked at SSI? Scout, that's the company that created you. Do you think he was involved in my project? Do you think he is responsible for? I'm not sure, but I bet Jenna could tell us. Hmm. Cross. Any good news? I tried my usual sources so far. Uh, I tried my usual sources, but so far, nothing. We've got a new lead on Musclemen, thanks to Ray. Ray was helpful. He was plenty cooperative once he realized I was trying to prove he didn't kill Laurie. Typical defense lawyer. Happy to fight the good fight, but only when it suits him. So what did you find out about Clyde? Firstly, that his name is not Clyde, it's Hyde. He was a Marine. Dishonorably discharged. Likely killed a superior officer. That's not even the interesting part. After he was discharged, he got a job at the lab that created Scout. I'll be damned. You think there's some kind of link? That's what I'm hoping to find out. Yeah, and we definitely will find out. Jenna, got some questions for you. Did you solve your case? No, if anything it got more complicated. Well, I'm not done yet either. Can't rush these things. Gotta take your time and think it through. How's the work going? There's a lot of weird stuff in this code, but it's nothing I can't handle. The bigger problem is going to be deploying the patch. I don't know if I can do it without a specialized tool. What specialized tool do you need? Something called a data shunt. It's for uploading software to a protected drive, not something you can buy off the shelf. You can't do it without? No, this patch is to hook into dozens of core systems to override Scout's decision making. What do you mean? It'll completely disable your offensive systems. You won't be able to use them even if you want to. Wait, this thing will override Scout's decision making? You're going to change the way he thinks? It'll take away his ability to hurt people. What's the problem? I'm just not sure if I'm comfortable with the idea. I don't ever want to hurt anyone again, Honor. But right now, that's your decision. 
if we take that away from you, if we force you to never hurt anyone, does it mean anything anymore? I'm not sure I understand. Can we discuss the philosophy later? I've got work to do. Did you know anyone at SSI called Hyde Musselman? Yeah, he worked in defensive systems research. Some ex-military beefcake with more muscle than sense. That sounds like Hyde. Do you know what happened to him? After SSI shut down, the head of defensive systems started his own company. I think Hyde went with him. Is it gonna be Leaf Security? Any idea of which company? It was a long time ago. Had a name like Lethal? Leaf? Leaf Security? Leaf? Yeah, that's the one. What a surprise. <clears throat> Are you sure Hyde went to work at Leaf Security? Yeah, he was sick of working in a research lab anyway. Only time I ever saw him smile was when they were doing weapon tests. We've met the CEO of Leaf. His company is connected to three different murder cases. Wait, you met Jack? The, did he see Scout? He was very interested in me. He even offered to repair me after I was damaged. Oh god. Oh no, if he knew you're still working. Do you think you might do something? Try to snatch Scout or something? I don't know, but you'd better watch your back out there. Uh, do I need to present her with anything? Possibly not. No, alright. Cross. Problems. I spoke to Jenna about Hyde. He did work at SSI in the Defense Division, and his boss was Jack Larson. Larson? The CEO of Leaf? Yeah. When the scout project went bad, SSI was shut down. Jack found a leaf and Hyde went with him. Let me get this straight. Hyde works for Jack, but so did Laurie. This gets more complicated by the minute. If this is how they handle disputes at leaf, I hope they have a good employee health plan. Laurie contacted us because she wanted to give information on Frank Pritchell. That has to be why she was killed. Larson's gone too far this time. He may be the common link between these deaths, but would st we still have no evidence against Jack himself. Then we need to find that evidence, right, Detective? Right. Jack Larson's always been one step ahead of us, but not this time. We need to get inside the leaf offices. I agree, but how long will it take to get a search warrant? It's going to be tricky. I'm not exactly on the best terms with my captain right now, what with the whole... Going undercover without telling anyone thing. He's never going to play ball. Okay, so no warrants. What about me and Scout? It's a private security company owner. You can't just walk in through the front door. I'm confident I can bypass the security. I hacked into a military server earlier without issue. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. <laughs> Maybe being a cat burglar is my real calling. Do you have any better ideas? The longer we wait, the more time Jack and Hyde have to destroy evidence. I'm not going to give you permission to break into a private office. But if someone did break in, evidence happened to fall into police hands. Say no more, de de detective. We understand. I do not understand. There we go. New location discovered. Leaf security. But... We're going to go there in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.